Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got LTD Thursday, guys. Still going strong. Tons of LTDs this year, every single Thursday, besides for a small break around the holiday time. They've been solid, guys. Like I, like I always say, this is one of the most solid years of LTDs I've ever seen. Because the issue is, right, so back in the olden days, I like to reference them a lot. Back in, like, the early days, LTDs were so crazy. Like, LTDs just haven't been right for a while, right? So, back in, like, Madden 13, LTDs were one or two things. First off, the chances of pulling them were so rare. And even if they, like, there was, like, you would literally, if they had an LTD, like, you'd see three on the auction block. All month. All year. All Madden. The cards went for, like, four million coins, three million coins. And man, at that time, guys, like some of the LTDs even went for like 900k. But there's been inflation, right? Back then, guys, a lot of coins in Madden used to be if you had 20k to 100k, you had a lot of you had a lot of coins, right? 150k, a lot of coins. Nowadays, it's not the case. Nowadays, it's million coins, right? So again, it's kind of like like how they say like a soda used to be 45 cents kind of a thing. So back then, like LTDs used to be like 800k, anywhere between 800k to 2 million coins. That that's the equivalent of today of like an LTD going for like three million coins, like seven million. It was unbelievable. It was unaffordable. Not even possible to obtain. And that's what LTDs used to be, right? So weren't touchable. Then as we got later into it, LTDs became a little bit more obtainable. Still expensive, but the card sucked. Like I remember primetime performers and stuff. I believe two years ago, Madden 19 made Madden 20. Uh, primetime performers. The cards kind of suck. Like, they, they were expensive every week on Thursdays, but they weren't that good. They were okay. We went through a period of time where LTDs weren't great. Now, this year specifically, guys, we've actually had a good wave of LTDs. Like, they, first off, first off, they're kind of affordable, right? They're not, like, they're under a million coins. Some of them go for 300K as soon as even, like, within the day. They're affordable, and not to mention the fact that they get Redux cards now, affordable, and they're good. They're insane cards. Some of them are limited time. They are some of the best cards in the game, which is super important for uh, the LTD, you know, releases, right? Now, moving on from that, guys, we have two new LTDs today. I'm going to check if they're on the block. More than likely, they're not because they're never on the block. And if not, we'll take you guys over to the stuff. Now, this is getting super annoying. I'm just going to do this real quick, guys. You know how annoying it is to actually have to go ahead and, like, literally every time I want to go in the auction block, I have to quick sell something. Every single time. Every single time I want to go in the auction block, I have to quick sell something. It's becoming, it's becoming really frustrating, actually. But besides the point, I'm going to have to clean up that binding, but I was kind of saving it in case we had a positional heroes or some promo that used a lot of gold cards. I was kind of hoping there'd be some use for that. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, gives you a big thumbs up. And of course, guys, every time you like and comment, it helps the channel out, so always do that. And of course, if you guys need coins, head down below to the description. Muck Coin Bank, use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Make sure you're taking advantage of that, guys. Super cheap coins. Let's go check this out real quick, guys. Super excited here because these LTDs, like I said, they've been really good. So I kind of, I'm getting high, I'm getting like high expectations for LTDs on a weekly basis at this point because of how good they've actually been. So if we sort by newest, yep, they're up. I see it. Oh, a ton of them are up. They must, wow. Okay, so let's start with Tyler Lockett, which is one of the first ones I did see from last night's reveal. 97 overall wide receiver for the Seahawks. Now, 95 speed is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Simple as that, guys. I'm not actually let me adjust that for you guys it's a little bit better. Uh, 95 speed is going to be a problem because I don't know. Okay, they messed it up. How, how are they going to give? Hey, here's the thing we've been at 95 speed has been like the staple, right? We've been getting everyone at 95 speed powered up 96. So that means that he will not get 99 speed. Now, that's been kind of a staple they've been giving a lot of players. If you're going to give us a new LTD, you got to give him 96 speed. Honestly, it's Tyler Lockett. I'd say even give us 97. Or at least 96, power up 97. The rest of the card's great. I mean, powered up and camped up guys will have maxed out route running for the most part. He'll have 99 short, 99 medium, 98 deep. He'll have maxed out catching probably, maxed out catching traffic probably. He'll have 98 speed. Sorry, yeah, 98 speed. He's still going to be a great card with Sprinter. He will need Sprinter. Without Sprinter, he will not be that great. He'll still be a great card. He'll have 98 agility. He'll have um, 97 change of direction. He'll have 98 juke move, 96 spin. He'll have 95 break tackle, guys. This card's still going to be absolutely insane with Sprinter, of course, and 98 speed. But had they given him 96, he'd probably be the best wide receiver in the game. Kind of upsetting they did hurt him there. Now, guys, a lot of people are still not going to sleep on this card. Because remember, with Sprinter, you're still able to get him to a 98, which is only one short of the 99 threshold. But you do get 98 agility. And if you put zone run and some other stuff on it, you may even be able to get some other stuff up on there. But you can get 98 to 99 agility. 
Um, you can get his juke and spin if you really wanted to. I'll put his change of direction to be 97, 87, 88 carrying can be really good as well. Now, you like I said, with Zomer, you can get up to 99 spin and juke. This card is going to be probably the best receiver in the game with the ball in his hands, or at least tied for it, which is going to be super important in terms of how much people actually care for this card. Five foot ten, going to be able to swerve around, especially on next gen where it's been confirmed like shorter guys actually get in and out of breaks, but easier and can make moves a little bit easier when they're shorter, despite their ratings. You know, this card's great. He won't be mossing anyone, but he's going to be able to catch, you know, slants over the middle. Going to be able to catch, you know, contested, you know, out routes. Anything that doesn't require him to go up and get the ball, he's going to be able to do it really, really well. So I do like this card. And then next, guys, we have Daniel Hunter, which is another one of the new LTDs. I wish they did three per week. It would make a little more sense to me. You know, a nice little three drop, kind of like they usually do with everything else. So we have Daniel Hunter. So 91 speed, 94 excel. So that's super solid for left end. Again, not the fast. We have guys like Ricky Jackson, Derek Thomas. A few other guys that have had, you know, a bit faster. But Daniel Hunter... Gonna be good. Gonna have good speed. Uh, he gets 83 strength. A little bit in the low side, but he is a speed rusher. 94 tackle. 97 play rec. 94 block shit. 92 power move. 97 finesse move. So powered up in chem. This is important. He does get the finesse move and the block shit, which I do like. He will have a 99 finesse move as well as a 95 block shit. So he's gonna be he's gonna be a top tier edge rusher. I just don't think he's gonna be a meta best one. Like top tier, but there's so like this year's been the year of the pass rusher. There's been not that the game specifically, but there's been so many good pass rushers this year. Like, it's hard to even differentiate. Like, oh, this guy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm numb to it, right? Like, I'm seeing a 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 99 finesse move, 95 block should end. And I think he's actually a little bit subpar compared to what I've seen, right? That's just crazy at this point. Now, guys, he's a power-up chem move, guys. He can get up to 94 speed and 95 excel. So, that's solid. 94 speed, 95 excel. Going to be a super good end. Uh, going to be super fast. Again, there's a few faster guys. And, of course, some guys who are also strong. He's 6'5", 252. If you ever play Madden regs, guys, or franchise, Daniel Hunter is an absolute animal. If you ever played with him, guys, he is one of the most dominant edge rushers in Madden. Now, an ultimate team, I don't know if that you like names don't always apply in ultimate team, right? It's really just stats. I mean, there's been moments where I feel like some names play better than others, but for the most part, stats, right? In regs, some players just coded different. Daniel Hunter is one of them, so I, I kind of want to get my hands on him for that reason, but again, I don't know if that's going to apply the same way. Change of direction 71 doesn't really matter too much. 90 impact blocking could be a little bit higher. 87 hip hop hip power kind of low too so he's not a power guy like you know what i mean like he's more of a finesse guy he doesn't have high hip power not high impact blocking not high strength i guess that comes with the strength right the higher your strength the harder you can hit you know all that stuff so i guess that kind of probably goes all together the hand in hand but the card as a whole is pretty good but guys i mean that's pretty much it it's a short video i mean not much else to talk about we got the ltds out there not too many updates you know hopefully we get some more stuff in the near future but that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, always like and subscribe. Goes a long way in helping out the channel. If you guys need coins for the LTDs, head on to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 5% off your order. Make sure to take advantage, guys. A lot of people don't. You don't want to miss out on those deals, especially right now with all these great players coming out. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Do expect a second video sometime later today at some point when um, I feel the time is right. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.